Hey, what's up, guys? Zach Calhoun from cloudpano.com. I hope you're doing well today. We've got a really cool feature update, and I wanted to share it with you, so I figured I would hop onto a quick share screen and show you what we're doing. This is called Cloud Pano's new navigation walkthrough, how to automatically set up a walkthrough navigation mode for your virtual tours. Really big deal, mathematically very difficult to do, and really, really fun for the end user. If you don't already know, cloudpano.com is the world's best 360 virtual tour software. Actually, you don't even need a 360 photo to create a virtual tour. You can have live video calls on top of your virtual tours. You can white label your virtual tours and use your own URL so your brand shines ahead instead of somebody else's. Build a virtual tour business on cloudpano.com. Become an expert quickly. Make some money. Have some fun. Let's be entrepreneurs together. Huh? What do you say? All right. Let's get started. So with this feature video, I'm going to highlight a really cool navigation mode we've recently added. And you have three options. And the one I'm doing right now, I'm going to demonstrate for you. It's called walkthrough navigation. So check this out. And basically what, what this is going to be doing is, I'll just show it to you. When I click this hotspot, I'm going to maintain my current heading. Now, Clayton made a really good video within cloudpano.com, the editor, and I'll show you where that location of that video is in a second. I just wanted to quickly hop, hop on here and show you another example. What's interesting about navigating with walkthrough mode or natural movement mode, actually is what it's, what it's actually called, excuse me, um, is when you are facing a certain direction, the software knows which direction you're facing and you maintain facing that direction whenever you move forward. So here's a great example. I'm facing this corner, which isn't always a good experience. So you might want to be more, um, I would say, um, strategic in how you use this feature and where you place the camera and where you place your, your photos. Um, but as you can see, I'm kind of walking through from location to location and I'm maintaining, maintaining the heading. So it's really important, which creates a the idea or the concept of I am maintaining the um, the uh, direction that I'm facing, excuse me. So uh, if you go back to the beginning, you saw what I was doing there. I was just um, essentially, you know, if I'm facing this way, let's say I'm, I'm, let's say I'm facing over here a little more to the right and I click the hotspot, which would be maybe a little more different. Let's try it out. You notice that I'm now facing a little bit further into the room. Um, same thing with this. If I'm facing this way and I click, you know, lobby three, now I'm facing a little bit far to the left. Basically what's gonna, what's happening is, is that the software is maintaining the direction you're facing so that whenever you walk to a new room or you click a new hotspot, it also mains, it maintains that direction. This is called natural movement mode, okay? Really important. Um, the other option is what we, our, our legacy tours had available to them, which is you just set your initial view and every time you click a specific um, um, hotspot for that room, it just, what it would do is it would, you'd be able to save where, where you uh, where you were facing, which is still a really awesome uh, way to go about a tour. But for some locations, the natural movement mode, if it's a bigger room or you, you want to um, kind of save going back to a central room and, and, a, and oftentimes a living room, living room type, type situation, that's actually a much better experience is natural movement mode. So it, it kind of depends. We also have a third mode where, where you can um, save the initial views on the thumbnails and maintain natural move, uh, movement on your hotspot navigation, okay? Um, so let me just show you in the editor what this looks like. Now, again, if you go into settings, you click in your navigation tab, You'll see two videos here. We already discussed transitions in a previous video. But if you look right here, Clayton made a great video. You should watch it. It talks about how we to use Cloud Piano um, and the natural movement navigation. Okay. There's three options here. Our legacy initial view navigation. So this, this sets the navigation type for your whole entire tour. The natural movement navigation, which is what I just showed you a moment ago. It maintains your heading. And the third option is to is the hybrid movement navigation, which basically is natural movement with hotspot movement, and then the thumbnails are set initial view um, saving type style. So let's keep it right there at hybrid movement navigation so I can show you what this looks like whenever you're creating a tour. So let's say someone clicks a thumbnail. 
I'm gonna click set initial view. That's what it's gonna save because I have it in hybrid movement navigation mode right now. Now, if I click these three dots, it'll jump out here and I can actually set North Point. So if I wanna have the North, what, what is North Point? North Point is just, it's just saving the same direction for all your photos. So if you don't know which way is North, don't worry about it. Just have all the photos face the same wall. Okay, that's what you want, the same direction. You just gotta maintain a direction. So we'll we'll set North Point this way, then we'll um, hop onto this this next uh, this next room here. So you notice how it saved this, I'm facing the same directions. But I, what I wanna do now is I want my North Point to be here, so I just click set North Point, that's all you do. And if you're just doing natural movement mode, that's all you would do and go on to the next photo. But instead, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have my uh, thumbnail, I'm doing hybrid here, I'm gonna have my thumbnail face these cool chairs. So I'm just gonna click on set initial view. That's for the thumbnails. And the same thing for lobby three. Um, this is a good example where I would probably want to have my thumbnail be selected. I may even leave that hotspot out, right? So, I'm, so I can have them just set initial view for my thumbnail facing this way and then uh, my natural movement mode to this lobby four type photo. Okay, so that's the gif, the, the, the gist, excuse me. So I want to save, nor set your north point if you decide to, uh, if, if you to use that mode, and then you just add your hotspot and go on to the next one. All you have to do now is set north point one time for each photo, and the natural movement mode is very simple for you. You don't have to set initial views for every single, uh, every photo, which, um, and also too, you, you'll learn this pretty quickly. If you have a 360 camera and you have it face the same direction for the whole entire shoot, what you'll notice is that uh, it's pretty pretty fast putting together a virtual tour at that point. They're all facing the same direction, right? So once you set North Point once, you'll know that they're all, they're all facing the same, same way, which is really great. If you do have a specific room that has a, a particular lighting requirement, then you can always uh, adjust your north, your north point in that room if you if you happen to rotate the camera um, for that specific need. Um, sounds complicated, but I think once you uh, get used to it, you'll have no problems at all. Just wanted to show this here um, in this uh, in this video. So I, I published this. So if you recall, um, I had my north points saved. So I'm going to pick. Uh, let's see. Let's try this one right here. It's my lobby. Here is the, so notice, if you recall, for the lobby three photo, I had the set initial view saved away um, for the thumbnail. So I have it in hybrid mode. So now, but this, I still have the natural movement mode for my hotspot. So if I, if I wanna go over here as, as somebody viewing the tour, I just click that hotspot. Oh, here I am, cool, I'm in the coffee shop. I've always liked this coffee shop. You know, I'm just making this up right now. So a tour we found from one of, our, one of our users named Capital Photography, great. Great tour, great job here. Um, again, so see how I am I'm just, I'm, I, I use the natural movement for hotspots and I use my initial views for, see he's facing the right, right way, it's perfect. So I was facing, just, to, just for some context here, I was facing probably more east actually in this photo and I selected the thumbnail, which was then, which I said set initial view for because I'm in hybrid mode as saving North Point, or I'm sorry, as a, set an initial view this this direction so essentially with when hy in hybrid navigation mode your thumbnails are for set initial view and for your hot spots they're natural mode so each room I just want to go through and set your north point um, and then natural movement will be really easy after that um, of course you have infinite options here you can do uh, with with what you want to do You'll notice also too that one of the features, you know, saving initial view coming from a certain room is gone. The reason for this is because if you have natural movement in place, you're always going to want to utilize that because you don't, you'll, you'll never be backing out of a room, right? In that case. So you'll never have to worry about feeling like you're disoriented of where am I? What, where, where, what, what location am I in? There's, you see how I'm facing that corner? It's always, I'm always gonna know which direction I'm facing, which is really big deal. It creates a really good experience for your users. And it makes you look like a really smart and educated and, and snazzy um, 360 virtual tour provider. So start using this feature, try it out. It is a really big deal that we have this. It basically creates an automatic walkthrough type navigation it's really fun. Uh, I'm not even sure if I showed it that well in this video, but really you just need to understand three things. Watch Clayton's video. That's actually step zero. Step one is try out natural movement navigation. Give it a go. 
Um, if you don't know what set initial view navigation is, give that a go too. And then try out the hybrid mode. Hybrid mode is what I showed you before. Which I, if I click edit right here and I click settings, go to navigation, it will show us that. Um, yeah, try these out. Read these instructions. If you have any problems or issues or you have any questions, um, you can always ask support. A common question already we're getting about this particular feature. What if I don't know which direction is north? The answer is it doesn't matter which direction is north as long as every photo agrees which direction is north. So it's one of those things where if the whole crowd agrees, then it must be true, right? So in this case, that's how that works. Um, use this feature to create great, great experiences for your clients. Man, it's a big deal that we put this together for you guys. It took a ton of work. Really funny, all the math my team had to go learn just to be able to get this right. So um, this, this will take your uh, virtual tours to the next level. Give it a go. Let us know if you have any questions at support at cloudpano.com. If you haven't already, you got to sign up for Cloud Pano Pro Plus, bro. We got more features than anybody else. We look smooth. We look beautiful. We make you look good. We white label your tours for you. Cloud Pano Live is live video chat. We got more things coming for Cloud Pano Live as well, too. And you can upload to Google Street View. Did you not know that? You can do that, too. So if you click upgrade, you get started today for a low monthly fee. We're excited to have you. Let's go prosper together. Talk soon.